Hey, got another vlog. Um, this is gonna be a really short one. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about the future of gaming consoles. There's been a lot of rumors um, that the next generation consoles are not going to have uh, discs, disc uh, drives in them. And whenever, whenever I mean the future consoles, I'm talking about mainly Xbox and PlayStation. Um, as far as Nintendo, I don't know. I think they got a good thing going on their end with using the cartridges because you they can get like a you know a fifteen dollar cartridge, put a game on there and sell it for sixty dollars. So they're making a huge profit. But but uh, I think the cartridge system is actually good in the sense of getting the your uh, cartridge, putting it in and playing it. Um, because cartridges are faster than discs. This has always been a proven fact since uh, the dawn of the disc drive consoles. Um, so, like, take for instance, like the PlayStation 1, and then there was the N64. The N64 was faster at loading stuff than the uh, PlayStation 1. Um, but, Nintendo aside, because... I don't know if they'll do another disc-based console anytime soon, especially with games getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I think they would have to use Blu-rays at this point, Blu-ray discs, and they probably wouldn't want to buy like the licensing for Blu-ray discs, or, or like a share or whatever, I don't know. Um, so I think that they will continue to use cartridges because cartridges over time get better and better or like probably SD cards uh, Those get better and better and they get bigger so I think that they they kind of tapped into something great um, That they won't have to get out of anytime soon uh, so anybody that's theorizing the next Nintendo console, that is my, um, that's my thought of how you'll be able to play the games is I think they'll still use the cartridges. Um, but anyways, so let's, let's get back to the discs. Um, I don't think they, like, Nintendo, not Nintendo, Sony and Microsoft will get rid of disk drives completely maybe maybe xbox i could see xbox being the one that opts out of disk drives completely um but sony i don't think so because i now i am now a pro playstation i i don't really care for xbox unless it's like the uh, xbox 360 the xbox 360 was the best it was the greatest. Um, but I just don't really hear a lot of people, like, kind of, you know, saying the Xbox is, like, the greatest of all time. I, I always hear that the PlayStation 5 is. And um, any time that I've ever talked to somebody that plays the Xbox One, whatever the latest one is called, the Xbox X, whatever... Um, they're usually like digital gamers. They, they play digitally. Um, and anybody who is familiar with this channel, you know that I don't like digital content. I like mine physical. Um, so I collect a lot of physical media, whether it's, uh, VHS tapes, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, cartridges, you know, um, disc games. Um... But, you know, a lot of people that I know that play PlayStation consoles, they have, they keep their physical media. Very few have I met that, um, that are just all digital. I only know one person that is all digital and he's regretting it, or I think he is at least, because every time that he gets a game, he has to delete a game and wait for the game he just got to download, and then whenever he wants to play the old game, he has to make room for it, 
and you know you're paying so much money trying to uh you know get more storage which hopefully here in the future they'll get cheaper i hope i hope uh m2 ssds get a lot cheaper um because it's gotten to the point where we can't really get hard drives for our new consoles because they're not fast enough which is incredible how we've gotten to that point where hard drives aren't fast enough um so yeah uh it, ssds are the way to go now um and they they do cost a good bit of money if you're trying to buy at it, it's become like to a point where nowadays the minimum is like two terabytes for anything now your computer uh nowadays your phone because you take like four pictures it's like you're out of storage or you said you have like um you haven't really cleaned out your your gmail in a, in a little bit and it's like you're out of gmail storage um but uh yeah so it, it's gonna cost you a little bit to get a two terabyte ssd so hopefully those get uh cheaper but moral of the story uh, a lot of people that i talk to uh, they collect physical media and they play the PlayStation 5 and not Xbox. A Xbox people, they play digitally. Um, so, and, and to even back this up, uh, Sony has had to re... No, not really like re-release, but they, like, released a new kind of PlayStation 5 uh, called the PlayStation 5 Slim, who whoever is not familiar with that at this point. I think uh, Sony has stopped selling the original PlayStation 5, and they are only selling the Slim. And the Slim is... It can be like a hybrid of digital and physical. You can, you can attach or detach a uh, disk drive. So that is really... That's, that's a good option. I think that's a really, really good option... People have been asking Sony to release a, uh, you know, like a disk drive, like an external disk drive for their PlayStation 5, and um, Xbox has kind of done this thing where they are digital um, with the Xbox S, I can't remember, it was like, like a white block. And it was all digital. So they've already, like, tapped into this market. Um, so, they, yeah, actually, as far as I'm aware, they they were the only console that was digital only. Besides, like, third-party ones, like, you know, it's like these knockoff PlayStation 3 controllers. And it's like, a, it looks like a little Roku stick and you plug it into your TV and play like that. I'm not. I'm not really talking about that. I'm talking about like the big boys, like the Xbox and the Playstations. Um. So yeah, they've already done like digital only, um, and I'm not sure how well that sold. But I think Microsoft. I am very funny about Microsoft. I don't really like them too much. I don't really like Microsoft because every time I have a problem, it's like, well, that's you know, that's just tough. We're not going to help you. Um, and, you know, their games like, you know, like Sea of Thieves, there was a huge point in time where there were just a whole bunch of hackers, and that didn't change for a long time. And I would, like, you know, be like, hey, I've got this on footage, too, like, and I'm sending it to them, right? We don't see anything wrong here. So, um, Microsoft, I'm very funny about them. But, uh, yeah, that's just, like, my, my whole thing. Like, I don't think that console, like, the future consoles will be digital only. The only company that I think would ever do that is Microsoft. I could definitely see that being a Microsoft thing. But anyways, yeah, that's about it. I uh, just want to share that.